Hi, welcome to The Watchlist. I'm your host, Jim Jockel. The concepts of disruption and transformation are words that seem to be thrown around more than ever these days. But there's an interesting graphic circulating around LinkedIn. It shows the evolution of banking in the United States. In just 20 years, 37 banks have consolidated into four, Citi, JPM, B of A, and Wells. But what is also important to note is that prior to 2008, over 100 new bank charters in the U.S. were issued per year. From 2009 to 2013, only seven new banks were formed. In a research paper from the Federal Reserve Board, the study concluded that even without any regulatory changes, the follow, uh, following the financial crisis, the weak economy and low interest rate environment would have caused 75 to 85 percent of the current decline of new charters. Macroeconomic factors such as low rates and a likely transitory decline in bank demand are among the more innocuous explanations for decline in new bank supply. However, it's important to ask the following. Is there less demand for banking services or are there other options available? So to that end, let's take a quick look at the rise of imp and impact of, the fint of fintech on the industry. So KPMG just released this week the 2015 Pulse of Fintech report, chronicling the year's global fintech investment and expansion. Fintech saw nearly $14 billion in investment over 653 deals globally in 2015. So what is clear is this is an industry going through transformation. During its February Investor Day, J.P. Morgan Jace, during its firm overview, highlighted its commitment to technology and as well as innovation, noting that they are currently employing over 16,000 developers creating intellectual property with a $9 billion tech budget. The technology investment JPM has articulated is quickly becoming a new normal across the industry. As Jürgen Fitchson, co-chief executive Deutsche Bank, said in a German publication last month, the inefficiency of our IT was the price that we had to pay to catch up with the fast-growing Wall Street banks. Another thing to think about or a question to ask is, can the banks keep up with Silicon Valley? And that's your watch list.